The next step is to enter the details of the trial balance that you've got from your accountant. Now this trial balance should be at your opening balances date. So in our example, it should be as at the end of March 2016. The only thing that might be missing from your trial balance from your accountant is the nominal code that you need to use. So you just need to access the drop down and from the list choose the appropriate nominal code. So for our first item on our period trial balance from our accountant we'll say it's for motor vehicles. You can then enter an extra reference which we'll just leave blank in this example. We'll accept the default department and in the details we'll type opening balance. The tax code defaults to T9. Now T9 is the default nominal code for your non vatable tax code, so transactions not involving VAT. So you don't want these transactions to be picked up on a VAT return, so leave it set to T9. You then enter the amount in either the debit or the credit column. We can then tab down to the next line and continue to enter our opening trial balance. Now, as you become familiar with nominal codes and account references, what you can do is you can actually just type them in rather than having to select them from the list each time. So just to save a little bit of time, we'll start typing in the nominal codes. So in this case, we'll enter our opening balance for our bank. So 1200 in this example. We'll leave the extra reference blank tab past the department and then we need to enter some details. So rather than having to type in opening balance again what we can do is just press F6 on your keyboard. When you press F6 it copies whatever's in the field above. So in this case saves us typing it in. It also tabs us into the next field as well. So we leave the tax code set to T9, enter the amount and we can then continue just to enter the rest of our opening trial balance. Just to speed things up a little for the purpose of the demonstration, we've quickly jumped to where we've entered all of the opening trial balance and we're ready to save it. Now before we can save it, the total of the debits and the credits, which you can see the two totals at the bottom, they must be equal. They are in this case, so we can click save. We then return back to the opening balances option and the step is flagged as complete.